Good morning. Happy Palm Sunday. I am the Reverend Heather Chase. I am the associate pastor here at Oakhurst Presbyterian and Hosanna in the highest as we celebrate the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. And I hope that at home this week, you can create your own palm branches and have your own palm processional as we welcome Jesus into this holy week that we are entering as we prepare for Easter. So as you um, are around this morning, I hope that you have time to find some paper and some scissors. Um, and I use salad tongs for my stem. Um, you can use uh, whatever you have around the house to create that processional feeling and um, pretend that you're Jesus and have your family lay out uh, clothes on the ground and have a processional and sing uh, Hosanna in the highest. So uh, I am just really uh, joyful to be with you right now. We are um, so glad to connect with people all over the world as we proclaim God's word this Sunday. And so um, I'm going to get to it. Our story today is from Matthew in chapter 21. And it is about Jesus riding a donkey in and the people of the community understanding who Jesus was, that he was a prophet. And we learned about what a prophet was last week from, from Barbie. So listen for the word of God. So when they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus gave two disciples a task. He said that to them, go into the village. As soon as you enter there, you will find a donkey tied up with a colt next to it. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs it. So he sent them off right away. Now this happened to fulfill what the prophet said. Say to daughter Zion, people of Israel. Look, your king is coming. Jesus is a king, humble and riding on a donkey and a colt, the donkey's offspring. So there's actually two. The disciples went and did just as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the donkey and the colt and laid their clothes on them. And there Jesus sat. And now a large crowd came and spread their clothes on the road and others cut palm branches off the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds in front of him and behind him shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was excited. Who is this? They asked. And the crowds answered, it is a prophet, Jesus of Nazareth in Galilee. The word of the Lord. Pretty exciting story. So this morning we celebrate the beginning of Holy Week as we prepare for Easter next week. And I hope that this week you get creative about how you'll celebrate Easter at home. Um, I know that it's hard to be in our houses, but there are ways that I've been looking on the internet to have uh, put up Easter eggs in your window so that when you're walking around the neighborhood for your daily walk that you can look in windows and see others and to spread that good news that there are so many of us who are celebrating Easter in our home and we are not alone. Um, and so our song today is remembering that Jesus loves all the children of the world. So let us sing together, Jesus loves the little children. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in God's sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Let's sing it one more time so you can join with me. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in God's sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. It is so good to be with all of you this morning, 
And as we close in prayer, we lift up everyone that we are thinking about, those who are dealing with the coronavirus, kids who are adjusting to not having school anymore, uh, parents who are balancing all these things. Um, we are just keeping you all in prayer and looking for the day when we'll all be back together. So let us pray. Dear God, we are joyful this morning as we think about saying Hosanna, Hosanna to the King of Kings. And we think about what joy, all the joys in our life, of those people who love us, of the meal that we may have tonight, of the warm bed that we have, O oh Lord. We are grateful for all the blessings. And we know that you are with us in those things that are scary, as we get used to change, as we deal with being sick, or as we deal with being alone and not with our friends. We know that you are with us and that you love us, God. Help us to feel that love as we share it with the ones that were with us in our houses and spread that love to those around the world through the good deeds that we do each day. In all of this we pray. Amen. Blessings and peace.